I've been getting a lot of uh, comments, questions, different things in the DM section about what I've been doing lately, what people should eat, how they should eat it, should they, you know, do this, do that. I mean, it's it's kind of getting a little crazy. Now, over the last two and a half months, I've lost... I don't know, at this point, I haven't weighed myself in a while, but I think it's around 25 pounds, somewhere in that region. Who knows what it is? I'll probably, in a couple of weeks, do another update on what I have been doing. But as far as eating, what I suggest you eat, what I, you know, like everybody wants me to tell them what to eat. And here's the thing, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what you should eat in your particular case. I don't know what your background is. I don't know where you're coming from. I don't know anything about you. And people want me to, you know, there's so many DMs lately, which I, you know, it's fine, right? But it's just, I'm, I can't do all of this. I can't answer all this stuff for, you know, just for everybody because I don't know. So what I have been doing is I've been doing a lot of fruit lately. I have noticed over the years, over since I've been doing this, I've lost a lot of pounds. I've lost probably 185 and then I gain and I, and, and every time I gain, is when I start adding in the fats, the oils, the fake meats, the hummus, the, you know, all this other stuff. I, I just, I, if it does, and it happens slowly, right? So it's not gonna happen very fast. It's gonna happen slowly. And so you're not going to notice until you realize, hey, I'm way overweight <laughs> again. Uh, and for somebody like me, I have a decent amount of strength in my legs, so I don't really notice it happening as fast as I should. So maybe that is a case for kind of watching the scale a little bit. But what I've been doing lately is mostly fruit. I'm in a lot of watermelon. So what I've been, because watermelon have been a lot more expensive than they, they used to be. So I am... Um, buying watermelon, I cut them in half, I eat the half, and then the next day I'll juice the rest of what I didn't eat of that, and then I'll have the other half, and then I'll juice that, and I just keep rotating it like that. The things are just, they're, they're like eight or nine dollars a piece right now for, for the good ones. If you wanna get the real cheap ones from Walmart, I've been seeing a lot of weird stuff with the Walmart uh, uh, watermelon, like, like rubbery and, and stuff like that, and somebody bought one and it was just liquid inside. So I've been staying away from it. I don't really trust Aldi with that kind of stuff. So I, I've just been getting it actually at farm stands, which is something I recommend. If you got a farmer's market, farm stand, or whatever near you, that's where I like to go. Now this time of year, if you're in the north part of the country, if you're in America, I mean, chances are <laughs> the watermelon's not local, but at least they get the good, good stuff as best as they can, right? So I, I recommend that. I also recommend going to you know Trader Joe's or something like that to buy them. But fruit is definitely my go-to as far as weight loss, largely because I still think that I have issues with insulin and a fruit is mostly made out of sucrose and fructose. That actually doesn't need insulin to be processed. It's only glucose that needs insulin to be processed. And it doesn't have as much glucose as say a starch does. So I've been really, just focusing on fruit. Now, during the mid, middle of winter, that does become a little harder if you like variety, because during the midwinter, it's pretty much gonna be dates and bananas. The date season, I think, is from September to February. So you're gonna have the, the good dates in that time frame, And then once the February with the dates is over, I mean, you can d get dates year round, but you know, they're, they're a lot better in that season. And then that's actually usually when the mango season hits and then you got mangoes technically till August, but here usually they start getting not great actually around now, which is uh, July. So you have some kind of variety that you can go for uh, throughout the year. Uh, and I do realize I, I run into this issue myself is where you will be cold if you eat raw um, 24, seven, seven days a week. That's where the starch is gonna come in. And, and starches makes, you know, if you wanna call it a diet or a lifestyle, whatever you wanna call it, starches actually make it what's easier to kind of blend in with society. That is where things I find get difficult. And I, I'm still, I've mentioned this in a few videos and I still think it probably is accurate. I think our ability to break certain starches down is based largely on our 
ethnic background, really. You know, like if you look at potatoes, potatoes are kind of all over the place, especially in Europe, Russia, Poland, Germany. I mean, just all over, all over you, if you think. And actually, for whatever reason, North Korea, uh, potatoes are really popular. And then you go down to South America, they're really popular. You go to America, they're really popular. I don't know anything about Canada. <laughs> I don't know anything about, I don't know if they're popular. I have no idea. Um, and so you got that. And then you got the rice is really popular in the Asian countries and some of the Mediterranean countries. And then you got corn, rice in that, in the African plain and different things. So maybe look into that. Maybe that'll help you because I myself have had issues with different starches over the years and sometimes I have them and sometimes I don't. And everybody, every time I make a comment about if I have rice, uh, my pee is not as clear as if I have, after I have uh, potatoes. No, I'm going to answer this one more time. I do not buy enriched rice. I don't. I go to the Asian market, stuff is either from Thailand or Japan, it's the only ones I buy. They are extremely strict with their uh, nutrition label, unlike America. So I know what's in it. I don't buy enriched anything. I don't buy the little packets of stuff. If it's not 50 pounds of rice, I'm probably not even going to buy it, unless it's like a very specific rice that I'm looking for, and that is always from Japan. Japan, getting a 50 pounder out of Japan, I've never seen it. I've, the, the most I've seen uh, poundage wise out of Japan is 11 pounds or five and a half kilograms. That's the most I've ever seen come out of Japan. They usually, because they don't have enough land to grow enough rice for the people that they already have. So most of the time they won't ex export it. But now with the Western diet going over to Japan, they're not eating as much rice as they used to. And they're now having the complication that the Western diet brings, but they, so now they're exporting a little bit to, to sell some of it. So uh, that, that is what it is. But th with the starch, you really got to test it yourself. Really got to test it yourself and have everything else the same. So if you're only eating certain amount of, you know, certain foods, the only thing that you should change in that and, and, and hydration, if your hydration is a certain amount, don't change it, right? Keep everything else the same. So uh, like a, a base foundation, I don't know. For me, my base foundation is watermelon juice, watermelon, uh, banana, mango, uh, peach, some berries, and that, that's my base. And then, I, and then I keep the hydration the same. And then I can add a starch at night and see what happens if, if I, I don't digest it well. And don't just do this for one day, right? <laughs> don't even do this for like a couple of days. Like tr try this out over an ex extended period of time, maybe a month. And not every day. Not every day. But keep everything else the same and add a, a like, say, I don't know, say potatoes you're going to do. You're going to try out potatoes and just add them in once in a while. Say you were doing rice, but you want to add potatoes in and see how you digest them. It's the only thing I can, uh, only thing I can say. Some people do really seem to have a lot of issue with certain starches. Now, maybe you are the one buying enriched, enriched starch. In that case, I would not do it. I don't think it's a very good idea. Who knows what they're enriching it with, where they're getting it from, who, what the source is, you know, so watch that. Potatoes is usually not going to be enriched, although I have seen that some places spray their potatoes with like chemicals that make them look better. So I have no idea. It's really hard to, to get natural food these days. It's kind of ridiculous. But this one in particular, you really are going to have to test for yourself. I can't really give that answer. I really wish I could because I can't even give it to myself. Sometimes I do great with rice. The one thing I will say about rice is you should at least soak it for an hour before you cook it. So rinse it off. I've shown that in many videos. Rinse it off. Uh, get ri uh, the rice kind of soaked. Get it thoroughly into the rice grains. Let it soak for like an hour, sometimes 24 hours. Then cook it. See how that does. The one that I notice people having the most issue with is rice. The other one is potatoes. And it might not be the potatoes. It might be the solanine in the skin of the potatoes. So try skinning the potatoes and see how that does. Uh, solanine is what makes the potatoes turn green. 
at, at, um, at you know when they're in light for too many uh, for too long you know they start turning green under the skin but there is always going to be solanine in potatoes especially russet if you're in america i don't know what they're called in other countries but here in america they're called russet potatoes they're, they're standard brown you know skin potato that you see try that out try these different things out because i know like it's it's not great like i like sweet but i don't want sweet all day and I don't, I don't care what anybody says. People try to give me these different recipes for different dressings. I don't care what you say. I cannot break salad down if I don't have a little bit of fat with the salad. I can't do it. If my body doesn't do it, I get this awful gas. I get bloated for days. I can't do it. So I just, I won't even bother with greens unless there's gonna be fat involved and I haven't wanted fat. So I just haven't been doing it. Uh, I will add green vegetables into what I'm making, but by and large lately, it's been about as simple as, as humanly possible. I mean, yesterday I threw onion, mushroom, and a local squash, sauteed it, put cubed up potatoes on top of that, and I just did, did it for five, four minutes in the Instant Pot, and that was dinner. So it's been pretty simple. Other than that, again, with the starches, you really got to test it out on your own. You really got to test it out on your own. I, I really, I, like I said, I wish I had the answer for myself because I myself have also gone through this with the weird bloating, with like not digesting it. It's like I did not change anything from, from the previous day. So I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. The only other thing is if you're having a lot of fruit and if you're a person that does not have a very good digestive system it might be running into if you eat it too close to eating fruit it might be running into the fruit and that's causing some issues i don't know you know i know some people who can eat everything all at once it doesn't matter i know other people's like myself it's just there's just not my life i just can't do it right so play around with it you know I wanted to start that coaching thing uh, to help people out with this, but I don't know. It, it just doesn't seem to, to want to come to fruition. So I'm going to make these videos, but I can't, I can't just keep on the, with the DMs. You can DM me if I get back to you, great. If I don't, you know, I don't. That is that. Not saying I don't like DMs, not saying I hate everybody. It's just like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know you from uh, from anybody so I don't know your situation I don't know anything and you know so that is just kind of my answer to that because I myself like I said four times five times in this video I haven't quite figured it out either with the starch I don't have any of these issues for fruit I do notice that I digest especially watermelon if it's a seeded watermelon it digests way better than seedless but you know, it's crazy. You know, you would think that that um, stores would take this into account because whenever you do find a place that has seeded, has seeded, you know, watermelon with seeds in it, those sell out so quick. It's like limited edition. You can't even like you can't even get. I remember like the, there's there's a place up uh, the road called Lucky Mart here. They had them. They were nine ninety nine. Not terrible because they were like thirty pounds. I, I, I bought two, I went back the next day, they were gone, they're bought already. Like, so I, people want watermelon with seeds in it. I don't know why they keep doing this seedless nonsense. <sighs> That's my rant on that one. But yeah, I just, I, I don't have the answer for you. I re really wish I did, other than test it out for yourself. If your family is like mine and it's Irish and Slovak, Chances are potatoes was in your ancestry, right? Or if you are from Asia, chances are rice is in your ancestry or if you're, you know, for whatever, wherever you're from. Now, if you're from the colonies like Australia and United States, you really got to just look at what, where your family, if you're in Australia, you got to look at like what criminal your family was from and why they were kicked off to Australia. And if you're in America, you got to look at like what country were you fleeing from and it came over here. Yeah. Anyways, 
comments, questions down below, like, subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next one. But you know, that's my answer. If you're really having a hard time, this is my final thing. If you're really having a hard time with digestion, blo bloating, all that, try straight raw for like a couple weeks. See how that goes. Try it out. I know a lot of people don't like doing it, but it's, if you're in the north, it's warm this time of year. It's a whole lot easier to do it than it is in the winter. Anyway, talk to you in the next one. Peace.